The file handling tab in the preferences menu is where you customize many of the options related to saving files. So let's open up the file handling menu. The way we get there is by pressing Ctrl or Command K and clicking on file handling. Or alternately, you can drop down here to the edit menu if you're on PC and right below keyboard shortcuts and menus, there'll be an option for preferences. But since we're on a Mac, it'll be found in the Photoshop menu, preferences and click on file handling. All right, so there's a couple of different sections here. First is file saving options, image previews, leave that to always save. And the two different previews we have are icon and Windows thumbnail. Let me show you kind of what that means. Uh, if we look down here at screenshot 2330, you can see a tiny little image in there and the size of these icons you can set in various ways depending upon your operating system. There generally appear a couple of icons up at the top of the window that you're in that let you change the look of your, your folder. So this is an icon because it's saved as part of the file and that's how the file identifies itself. You can see these are folders, they all share the folder icon. So when you click save icon, here's the icon. Now when we look at this as in the cover flow view, this right here is the image preview. So the reason I always leave this on is because as you're going through and looking at a lot of images, for example, I have this Photoshop images folder where I've stored several of the images that I've been using throughout this course. On a quick cursory glance, typically I can look down here through the icons and I know that this tiny little icon here that's a little difficult to pick out, I know that when I click on this, it's gonna give me a preview of the drawing that I did of me jumping through the air holding two guns. So there we are, we have the preview to confirm it. Just a handy way to quickly look through your images and pick out the one that you need to work with. And again, it speeds up your workflow. In my opinion, anything that speeds up your workflow without sacrificing quality, I will absolutely do. All right, let's move this out of the way. Icon, Windows thumbnail, yes, always save yes. A pen file extension, always. Use lowercase, a preference, most of the time, just leave that checked on because what this does, Anytime that you're going to save a file, if you click save as, save for web and devices, or just plain old save if you opened a brand new image, it will add the file type to the end of whatever you type in as the file name. So if you type in Gene's image one, Photoshop will automatically add .psd. This saves you from having to always type in the file extension yourself. Without the file extension, many programs are not going to know what to do with your image. They're not going to know what type it is or how to handle it. So leave that set to always. Use lowercase is fine. Save as to original folder. We talked about this in the preferences overview. If you're going to just be working on one image, save as to original folder is totally acceptable. When you open an item, what this checkbox does is if you save a different version of that item, automatically it will open to the folder where the item originally appeared. If, on the other hand, you're opening 20 different images from 20 different files, or ex excuse me, from 20 different folders, set this to off if you want to save all of the items to the same folder. Let's say you open up 20 images and you want to crop them all down to a certain size and then upload them all to the internet you're probably going to want to save these all into the same folder. So you'll leave this checked off because then you won't have to manually navigate to that folder each time. So for now, I'm going to leave that on camera raw preferences. You're probably not going to use, and it's definitely beyond the scope of this introductory course. Essentially camera raw is a file type and you're only going to run into this. If you have a good camera, most cameras that consumers will have basically will save as a JPEG or a bitmap and Photoshop opens these natively. We don't have to worry about any of this extra information that camera raw saves for us. So I'm just going to click OK and leave that the way it is. The next one on the list, ignore EXIF profile tag. That's more information that cameras save. You don't necessarily need to check that one on because if your camera saves that information, it may be for a reason and it doesn't hurt anything to leave it unchecked. Ask before saving layered TIFF files. I always turn this off because if I'm saving a TIFF file and there are layers, I want to save the layers. If I don't want to save the layers, then I just select merge all or otherwise make it so there's only one layer. And this is something that I do before I ever think about saving. So I just check that off because it really doesn't serve me any point. Maximize PSD and PSB file compatibility. Maximizing PSD and PSB file compatibility. Let me explain this real quick. When 
you do maximize PSD and PSB file compatibility. Essentially what that does is it saves two versions of your image together. It'll save your layered version and it'll save a flattened version of the image both in the same file. This is useful if you're using a program like Lightroom or uh, older versions of Adobe Premiere. Current version of Adobe Premiere does allow you to import the PSD with all of the layers. But if you want to work in Lightroom and change some images around, you absolutely need to save this maximized. Most of the time, I don't want the extra file size cluttering up my drive. So when the dialog box comes up, I'll just select no. But there are some times where I do want it, so I just leave ask. Recent file list contains 20 files. We covered this also in the preferences overview. And what this does, I'm just gonna click OK to confirm all these preferences. If we come up here to file and then open recent, this will show us the most recent 20 files that we've opened. Throughout the course of a week, I opened several images of all kinds. So I like to see a quick overview of all the things that I've opened recently so that I can come back to it, make some changes, or just check it out and make sure that that's the file that I wanted. This doesn't change the performance of Photoshop or our machine at all. It just makes it so that when we want to open something recent, it's right at our fingertips rather than us having to hunt for it. That's all for the file handling menu. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below and send any questions that you might have to requestsatmahalo.com. Thanks for watching.